Hey, hello there. So for today's binary search question, I'm looking at uh, 528 uh, random pick with uh, weight. Uh, so we have an array w that consists of uh, only positive integers, while the element wi describes uh, the weight to pick the index i. So this this element describes the weight to pick its associated uh, index value. And we need to write a function called pick index, which will randomly pick an index in this uh, array uh, in proportional to the uh, weight uh, as the, described by the elements. Um, so let's look at uh, some example. We have a array of uh, three elements, one, two, three, and the index are zero, one, and two. So that's w, that's i. And uh, let's look at uh, the probabilities that uh, we would uh, pick uh, index zero. It will be one out of uh, the total weight uh, because the associated weight to this index zero is one. And uh, the total weight here is uh, uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3. It's, it's 6. So we got a one out of, out of the 6 chance to, uh, to pick uh, index uh, zero. Similarly, we can work out the mass. We got the two out of six and three out of six chance to pick uh, index one and two. Uh, so that's the probabilities. Um, let, let's combine this with a random number generator. Let's use a real life random number generator, a six face die, a fair die. Um, face die. Um, the, you can have six possible outcomes, or the number that's facing uh, up. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the six possibilities. Uh, let's just actually, instead of uh, writing one, two, three, four, five, six on the die, we can actually just write uh, these three index value on there. Uh, we're gonna write uh, the value with their repetition number of repetitions um, based on the weight here. Uh, for simplicity, we can let's say. The, the, the face of the die where we originally have a number one, we uh, change that to index zero. Uh, for uh, the face value two and three, we change to index value one. For four, five, six, we change that to three. Then, um, then you know, if we do some hack to this six face die just by changing the face values, then we just do a random row of this uh, modified six face die. The, the outcome is going to be a random pick index that satisfies the question's uh, uh, requirements. And, and that's pretty much uh, one of the possible solutions to this question, uh, which is effectively, um, let's say we have an array with uh, w1, w2, w3, uh, something like this, uh, three, three random weights with their index uh, 0, 1, and 2. Um, maybe just throw one more, w4, with index 3. Uh, one thing we can do is just uh, uh, concatenating the um, have an array that's a concatenating of uh, zero multiply uh, duplicate by uh, by w one times, and uh, we do the similar thing for w two, w three, w four. So if we have, if we save this array in memory, then we just uh, randomly uh, generate a number from zero to the total weight subtracted by one, because this array might be uh, zero indexed. If it's a one indexed, uh, one to total weight, then we just uh, randomly generate a number from one to the uh, total weight, and just look up uh, in this array which value we ended with. If it's zero, we return zero. If it's one, we return one. That's uh, that's just uh, equivalent to the modification of a six-phase die. Uh, this this solution would work. It will be a, actually a constant time operation because we just generate a one integer random number and do a constant lookup in this array. But it will be a terrible idea when the w's can be. Uh, we can have a lot of w's and each w can have a, a quite big integer number. So there are going to be a lot of duplications. So we're going to looking at uh, something that can uh, uh, save a little bit of space here, actually. Uh, so uh, let's just look at the, this modification of the die here. Um, uh, we can see that uh, the six phase value are actually separated into three sections. Uh, 
So if it's a one, we can find the, the we can return index zero. Uh, if it's a face value two or three, we return one. If it's a four, five, six, we return three. So if we do a little bit of compression, it will be just use the three numbers one. Uh, it will be the higher end uh, three and six, which are the um, accumulative uh, weight, um, and uh, just put back those associated index in there. So if we summarize this uh, um, six die kind of a kind of uncompressed version with the compressed, uh, we we need to search in in here instead of looking up. Uh, in here we can or here we can just directly look up. If we are four, we return three. If we are three, we return one. But uh, in the compressed version, uh, we need to search for the value. So let's say that uh, we throw a die and the result is four. Um, how do we find the three that should be returned? Because four, five, six, uh, four, five, six, we need to return three. Uh, notice that uh, this one, three, six is now our search space. It's actually sorted. And um, since it's sorted, we want to apply binary search. Uh, and uh, to be specific, uh, we're actually looking at uh, the um, the first element that's strictly larger than or equal to the value that uh, we're looking for. So uh, since that we're looking at, the, for example, we're looking at the, the number four, uh, within one, three, and six, we're looking at uh, the first uh, number that's uh, strictly larger than or equal to the four. So that uh, if, we, if we're looking for four, five, six, we will all return six. Uh, if we're looking at the two or three, we're looking at, we will return two and three. Um, it, it will be faster than we uh, do a linear scan. Uh, the not so optimal case is that we do, we indeed do this memory compression to uh, to compress this uh, into this kind of accumulative wave format. Uh, but in terms of, uh, uh, in, in the time that when we search for the index, we can uh, compare, uh, is this four between uh, three and six? If if this uh, if it is two is uh, between one and three, we can compare adjacent numbers in the accumulative weight. That will be a linear time algorithm. Uh, it will be slower. Um, and it was um, two uh, three years ago when I faced this question in actual interview. I, I give that uh, solution. Um, uh, but but end up actually passing. So I guess the the difficult part here is not really binary search, but uh, to get the probability right. Yeah. So let's actually just code this question up. Uh, so we're gonna have a vector that's store the accumulative weight. And uh, uh, so in the constructor, we're basically just populating the accumulative weight 1, 3, 6 uh, with the weight values 1, 2, 3 to, to transform that into 1, 3, 6. So we got our accumulator initially to be 0. And uh, for the weight number in this uh, weight array, uh, we're going to increment the accumulator and then put that back to the uh, accumulated weight uh, vector. Uh, accum. That's the constructor. All, all we do is uh, compress the uh, weights into this, this uh, accumulated weight format. Uh, then in the random pick number, uh, we generate uh, from one to the total weight, um, RNG. RNG. Uh, random number. It's uh, rand mod by the uh, total weight, which is the back element here. Uh, back. And we need a plus one, so it, it will become one to six. Uh, then we apply binary search with this as the uh, random number as the target. Um, So the uh, first thing is the lower bond and upper bond. We are searching in this compressed weight uh, array. So that's a zero and the size of it. 
while we still haven't found the first element uh, that's uh, uh, larger or equal to the value. Um, so the condition is uh, the, the uh, value here is uh, strictly less than target. Then we should bump up uh, the lower bound. Otherwise, we will uh, decrease the upper, upper bound. M is the middle element. I subtract below, divide by 2. And in the end, we just return that number. So uh, this will be the index for, for the target value that's uh, uh, equal to or larger than uh. mm -hmm. yeah so the equal 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 sign will the l will actually be bump up to at least equal to that value um yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, if we have four, uh, it will actually be six. If it's uh, five, it will it will be six. If it's six, it will be six. Um, yeah, so th that's the uh, binary search. It seems working um, logically. Uh, then we just binary search that number. Uh, so this is the code. Let me try to submit this one. Yeah, it's uh, it's working. Uh, not very fast, uh, but I don't know. The yeah, the the thing the, the I guess for n not so mass savvy people, the probability can be a problem. Uh, but once you figure out that, uh, the the binary search um, 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 it, it is obvious uh, if you actually looking at uh, this. Uh, but in the, in the worst case, you just compare adjacent pairs. Um, that, that's what I did a few years back. Uh, but now I think I will be able to identify uh, the chance, the opportunity to apply binary search. Um, yeah. So the total runtime for the uh, pick index operation is going to be the a uh, in terms of log of the size of the uh, weight matrices. Uh, weight weight array uh, and uh, the space in the constructor and uh, the space that's used by the constructor and uh, uh, and time to uh, to populate this is linear with respect to the w yeah so that's the binary search question for today uh,